Hello everyone, it's your favorite niche micro celebrity YouTuber. Finally, after months and months of delays, we're here with a tier list of the Blood and Iron maps. Now, Blood and Iron has a wide diversity of maps, from small maps to huge cavalry ones. Disclaimer, this is my opinion. If you disagree, that is completely fine, but I'm always right. So like, you know, starting off with Bridge of Arkel, we're gonna put that in the B tier. It actually plays pretty good. It's like a meme map because of how weird the river is. It's like white and that's kind of like sus. So it has to be knocked down a few points. And yeah, it's it's all right. It's uh, in the B tier. Elb Shore, we're gonna put that in C tier. It plays solid. It's not the worst map in the game. It's it's all right. Valenti, we're gonna put it in the C tier. Uh, This map is okay. The artillery are literally in the worst positions though, so you can't hit the enemy, but because of how there's buildings in the middle, it's not the worst thing. Um, I really don't like partisans pushing through the forest and sniping the artillery though, because you literally can't see them, so you're basically sitting ducks from there. And there's a lot of points to get shot from. It, it, it's okay, it is in the C tier, so it's not the worst. Farmland, B tier. One of the only cavalry maps I actually like. Uh, a lot of the cavalry maps in this game suffer from so many problems. And I'm thankful that farmland, even having artillery and everything, it actually plays pretty solid. So it's going to be put in the B tier. Foggy Marshland is going to get put in the D tier. It plays pretty bad. It's not one of the worst maps in the game though. Uh, it's just unreasonably big for an only infantry map. You would expect those maps to have, I don't know, like cavalry or something. But it's so huge. It takes like two minutes to get to the other side of the map. It's good sniper training though. If you want to like train snipers. But yeah, it's like not that good and it's gonna be put in the d tier for tremont s tier this is the second best map in the game if you disagree then we're gonna have problems but no seriously this map plays so good there's rarely times when the timer ends and stuff and there's usually quick rounds and stuff like that people can camp but that's literally with like every map it's the community not the map's fault you know and because of that it's going to be put in the s tier frozen forest c one of the only other cavalry maps that are actually kind of solid. It's a pretty big map, but there's a lot of spots that you can get shot from. You're going to get put in the C tier because it actually plays solid. Grasslands, really low D tier. This is one of the worst maps in the game. I hate this map so much. I don't understand. And I'm going to be ranting about these cavalry maps a lot. I hate when these players choose the cavalry maps because they're like, oh my god, it's horses and stuff. No, they play like garbage and literally like almost the, every round ends in a draw because the timer runs out and therefore it's going to be put in the d tier however i'm going to put it in b it actually plays pretty solid i know a lot of people don't like this map because you can camp inside the church and stuff and honestly that's with like every map dude and pushing each side of the alleyways is pretty fun i'm not gonna lie but yeah, it's going to be put in the B tier. Hilltop Outpost F tier. This is the worst map in the game. I've been ranting about it for years now. I don't understand the hype in this one. This map is literally so big. And the fact that it takes so long to get to the other side. As well as having weird invisible walls and stuff. It plays so bad. And I'm getting tired of it. And anytime someone chooses Hilltop, I just leave the server. Because of that, it's going to be put in the F tier. Hugumont, put in A tier. There's weird artillery placements. But honestly, like, just snipe them, dude. And, like, it's pretty fun defending the building and stuff. You could pop off a lot in this map. It's literally one of the maps where every class can be very useful. And because of that, it's going to be put in the A tier. Iberian Harbor B. It's not the greatest map. Uh, it kind of drags sometimes. It's all right. It, it's going to be put in the B tier. I have nothing much to say about it though. Hi A, A tier. This map plays pretty good. I like playing in this one, especially like holding each side and like defending and stuff. I've popped off a lot in this map. Only problem is how wide it is. Like snipers can go on the left or right side and pick you off and you die instantly and you don't even know what hit you. But honestly, that's why you should have awareness. And that's the only problem with this map. If it didn't have that, it would be S tier, but it's still pretty good. So we're going to put it in the A tier. Rothier. I'm gonna put an A tier as well. This map plays pretty solid and there's Partisan. So if you like Partisan trolling, this is the map for you. It plays pretty solid. It used to be my favorite map, but then my taste has evolved. 
so it is not anymore and we're gonna put that in the a tier the second part of this map la rothier's fields we're gonna put this in the d tier this one is so boring this is one of the most boring maps in the entire game because it's just a straight field with a little bit of cover on the right and then boom um there's nothing much to say it just gets so boring and it usually ends in a draw so we're gonna put that in the d tier Oper, we're gonna put this in the f tier uh you would not expect a map like this to be in the f tier the problem is though is that there's one there's literally artillery everywhere two there's a building on the right for some reason and then there's just a bunch of trees everywhere and it just plays so bad i hate this map so much and anytime people choose it i also leave the game so we're going to put that in the f tier papala we're going to put this in the a tier this map is pretty fun to play on it's one of the big one of the only big maps that i actually enjoy playing yeah it's just fun it, there's really nothing much to say other than people like to camp it for some reason, people like to camp at their spawns in this map, even though there's cover here. Like, come on, dude. But that's literally every Blood and Iron server. So we're going to put that in the A tier. Plansonoid. I know a lot of people like this map. I actually like this map too, but it's like not the best. We're going to put that in the B tier. Uh, It's not bad. Only problem is that a lot of people like camping on the third story building of this map. And like, it's very annoying, but it has a piano. So it gets points added back. But overall be put in the b tier riverside encampment d tier this map plays so boring as well i've literally was in a server like a couple days ago where people chose this map the map only played twice because they drawed both times and then the map switches like it just plays so bad like you can pop off with like artillery and it's pretty good for artillery but like it's just so big yeah it just plays so boring people are like oh my god cavalry nah this this map sucks it's in the d tier mohane we're gonna put that in the a tier this map is pretty fun again for a big map there's a lot of buildings and stuff a lot of ways to flank and stuff and like defend it, it when you defend as an officer in this map it is so fun only problem is that people like to camp again in the two-story building and they almost always die gonna get knocked down a couple points for because of that but it's still a fun map so we're gonna put it in a tier uh spanish farmstead s tier this is the best map in the game if you disagree we're gonna have problems it's literally fritchermont but better it plays so good and yeah i have nothing else to say other than it's in the s tier and if you disagree we're gonna have problems again a uh, step we're gonna put it high d tier it's it sucks but it's like not the worst map people could just camp they l always camp at their spawn because that's literally the only cover that they have they're gonna be at their spawn camping and it gets very boring to walk to the other side especially if you're artillery and you gotta go over there to kill them and stuff but they can just kill you with their artillery and it's just so boring and because of that it's going to be put in the d tier um road to smolensk uh c tier it's all right there's nothing much to say it's just three ruins and it plays pretty solid and because of that it's going to be put in the c tier hunter um we're gonna put this high b um it plays pretty solid though uh but i've had a couple people draw because they like camping and there's like four two-story buildings that they like camping in, and it's just annoying but it plays pretty solid and we're gonna put in the b tier and finally the last map wooded crest we're gonna put it in Ugh, it's hard to choose because this map kind of sucks um we're gonna put it low c tier it's not the worst map in the game you would expect kind of smaller maps to like play good this one plays like trash because the only cover you have are trees and you can get shot by the trees and they can just like see you on the right because there's so many open areas where you can get shot from and it's, it, it's a mess so we're gonna put it in the low c tier so that's it this is the tier list i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys agree if you disagree leave it in the comments also i'm the smartest and the best player of all time so if you disagree um we're gonna have issues anyways i'll catch y'all later take care goodbye and peace <music>